Prolactin is the major hormone responsible for milk production and also participates in the development of the breasts. Prolactin is synthesized by lactotrophs, which represent approximately 15% of the tissue in the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. In non-pregnant females and in males, blood levels of prolactin are low. So what makes these people have low prolactin levels in their blood? The answer is dopamine secretion by the hypothalamus. Secreted dopamine binds to specific receptors on the lactotrophs and inhibits the release of prolactin. However, during pregnancy and lactation, blood levels of prolactin increase. There are two reasons that increase the prolactin level in the blood during these periods. First one is during pregnancy and lactation, hypothalamus secretes thyrotropin-releasing hormone, also called prolactin-releasing hormone, which stimulate prolactin release. And the second one is suckling, which is the most powerful stimulus for prolactin release. Stimulation of the nipple sends signals via different neural pathways up through the spinal cord. This inhibits dopaminergic neurons in the hypothalamus. Since dopamine inhibits prolactin secretion, inhibition of dopamine secretion removes its inhibitory effect on prolactin secretion. Therefore, prolactin begins to be secreted. Then, the secreted prolactin binds to receptors on cells in the breasts. So, let's take a closer look at them. Each breast is made up of 15 to 20 lobules, and each lobule consists of clusters of hollow alveoli lined by a single layer of milk-secreting epithelial cells. Each lobule continues with a lactiferous duct, which is also lined with contractile myoepithelial cells, and it opens at the nipple. During pregnancy, prolactin, along with the estrogen and progesterone produced by the placenta, stimulate the growth of the milk-producing alveoli. In turn, this makes the breasts themselves grow and prepare for lactation. After the baby is born, prolactin stimulate the milk-secreting epithelial cells. Apart from milk production, high levels of prolactin also inhibit the release of gonadotrophin, releasing hormone from the hypothalamus, which results in decreased luteinizing hormone, or LH and follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, levels from the anterior pituitary. FSH and LH normally induce the development of ovarian follicles and ovulation, which is why women typically don't ovulate or have menstrual periods while breastfeeding. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.